Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I have all of my empties from November and let me tell you it's a lot of stuff so if you are excited to see everything that I used up in the month of November then just keep watching. So I do also just want to say um, if you guys like this makeup look or like the looks that I usually create, I do post them on my Instagram as well. It is also at Hi It's Vicky on Instagram and I would love if you guys go and follow me there as well. So let's get started with the empties. I think I'm going to start off with the candles. Okay, so this one actually has been downstairs for quite some time and we finished it. We just never kind of like got rid of it, but this is Salted Vanilla. It is a very old candle and I really did not like this at all. It is from 2016. The notes are white sea salt, Madagascar vanilla, and soft buttercream. I think the sea salt is what did it for me because it almost smells kind of cologne-y. Um, but my mom burned this in our bathroom downstairs, just kind of like on and off a couple times a week, um, and we finished it up. And the next one that I have is blueberry pie. You guys know this one was in my project, Use It Up for the Fall. Um, the scent notes are juicy blueberries, flaky crust, and sugar crystals. This is a very, very good candle. It was a solid, strong thrower to the very end. It never got murky. It never smelled weird. It always smelled amazing and smelled like blueberry pie. I got a little sick of it near the end just because I was burning it while I was actually sick. So that wasn't good. So I'll probably have to wait quite some time before purchasing anything like this again. But I really, really, really enjoyed it. And then I have this little mini one wick candle in white pumpkin vanilla. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I believe it's $2.99. This is from last year. And it smells just like... Um, uh, what is it? Marshmallow pumpkin? No. Um, what is it? From Bath and Body Works. It's something pumpkin vanilla. Pumpkin and vanilla cream. That's what this one smells like to me. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoy these little single wicks are really nice for me um, to burn whenever I come home from work and take my shower and go to bed because I usually am only up like burning a candle for an hour or so. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. So moving on, let's go to the body care items I used up. So the first thing is this Pearberry body cream and I did have to cut it open. There was some left in here that I left because it started to smell rancid. Yeah, it's bad. Uh, it started to smell rancid and um, it definitely went bad. This is from 2018. It went bad once I opened it. So I just threw it out because I'm, I'm just done using it. Um, but it took me about four months to finish this up. I definitely recommend finishing your body creams within the year that you buy them, honestly, um, or else they're going to go bad. So just be careful when you buy body creams because they do go bad. I think they're the quickest body care item from Bath & Body Works that goes bad. Like the quickest. Yeah. <laughs> and then a non Bath & Body Works product, but actually it's one of my favorites, is the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. I have mine in the... Uh, what is this medium to tan shade yeah um i used this kind of like all spring and summer i'm not using it right now just because i don't i don't really care too much about if i'm tan or not but i really really enjoyed this this is the in shower moisturizer so you put it on um right when you're done with your shower you put on your wet skin um, and then you towel dry so i really did like this and then i have the cetaphil intensive moisturizing cream i had this um on on my bedside table and I just kind of use it on my hands at night or whenever I was laying in the bed and I remembered to um, but yeah it's really good it's just like a plain unscented lotion um, and yeah I did enjoy using it I probably won't buy another one anytime soon because I'm I have enough moisturizers but I did like this the next thing I have is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin hand cream I love Bath & Body Works hand creams. I go through basically one a month. Um, this scent is not my favorite, but I really enjoyed using the body cream and it kind of, you know, it was good for fall and I'm just glad to have used it. The next couple things I have are some hand soaps. So I have Kitchen Lemon. Um, this is Zesty Lemon Sparkling Citrus and Italian Bergamot. This was in our bathroom downstairs. Um, I've kind of been doing that because I've been giving my mom like half the, the soaps that I buy because it's really only a good deal if you buy like four or six hand soaps and 
if I buy that many, I'm not really going to go through them in just my um, my bath my bathroom upstairs. Me and my brother, we're not going to go through them all within the season, and then they're not going to be like seasonally appropriate, and I'm not going to like them. So I've been giving my mom half of them to put in our kitchen down, not our kitchen, our bathroom downstairs. So I'm still using it because I use that bathroom, but um, it's getting used up a lot faster than if I could. So kitchen lemon, anyways. <laughs> they finished this up downstairs, and um, yeah, it's just like a nice citrusy scent. My mom loves these citrus scents. Another citrusy scent is the Fresh Lemonade Dental Gel Hand Soap. This is Lemon Juice, Lime Twist, and Sugar Crystals. It did smell really, really good. Um, it smells like lemonade. It smells super nice and fresh. And so yeah, these two were from our bathroom downstairs. And then like I said, uh, we only go through about one a month of the hand soaps. This is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin from my bathroom upstairs. This is Harvest Pumpkin, Spice Clove, and Sugar Cane. I liked this, but it wasn't my favorite. I probably won't get it again next year. Um, it's like fresh and fruity, which I wasn't expecting out of like a pumpkin scent, but um, yeah, I'm glad to have finished it up. I really loved the packaging on this, so I didn't mind having it in there, but I don't think I'll go for this scent again in hand soap. And then I have three pocket bags. So the oldest one I have here is the Snuggle is Real Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. I had this one in my car. Um, it smells so good. Mm, yeah, it's like very cinnamony and vanilla-y. It just smells amazing. I love this. And then I used up pumpkin cupcake. This one was in my purse. It smelled so good. I love the packaging on it too, the little leaves. And then sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I didn't mind this as much in the uh, pocket back. It was actually pretty good. And this was also in my purse. So there's three pocket backs. So moving on, we'll go to some hair care items. Um, this is the Dove dry shampoo. Me and my mom are obsessed with this. Um, it's really, really good. And it doesn't really like stain your dark hair. So you know how dry shampoos are white. This one comes out really, really easily and doesn't stay super white in our hair. Um, I don't use dry shampoo that much, but I had my hair straight a few times this month, so I used it and then I just ended up finishing it. The next thing I have is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Marufa Oil Intensive Hydrating Conditioner. That's a mouthful. Um, it says for dry damaged hair. I really liked this line. I had the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, I really liked this line for my scalp. I have a very dry scalp and I think this actually did help a lot. I would consider buying it again. And the other thing I have is like all beat up. It's the Derma E Scalp Relief Shampoo. Um, I have the conditioner still in my shower. I haven't finished that off yet, but um, this line kind of saved my scalp. Honestly, I had some like patches of eczema on the back of my scalp and near my ears. And it's just like, it was so itchy all year. Um, I had been struggling with this. I usually struggle with it on and off just like during the winter. That's like a typical thing for me, but I had I had that problem all year long and my scalp was just so itchy. And this, uh, once I bought this and used a shampoo and conditioner, this is the only thing that really helped. So I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this. I have to go through a few more shampoos first, but I will be repurchasing this. I can't even talk. Um, and I highly recommend it if you also have scalp problems. The next couple things are some skincare items. So I finished off this Mario Badescu Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. I used this as a toner. I'm pretty sure it is a toner, right? Um, yeah, alcohol-free toner. So um, I liked it. It was okay. Um, I, I don't think I'll repurchase it. It was okay. It didn't really do anything great for my skin. I'm using the Pixi uh, Glow Tonic right now, so I'm hoping that's gonna be really good. Um, but yeah, I just finished it off and I was glad to have finished this because I think it's a few years old. The next thing I have is the Mary Kay Moisture Renewal Gel Mask. Um, this is really good for my dry skin. I used it like maybe twice a week. Um, and you can use it overnight as well, uh, but I really do like this um, mask. I'll probably get another one of this too, but only once I finish off some masks because I have a lot of face masks, a lot of the um, face masks that you like apply, not like the sheet masks. Um, the next thing I have is the REP BioFresh mask. And um, this was like a little charcoal mask almost. Um, it's supposed to be gentle and calming. Um, it was okay. I didn't really notice a big difference when I used it in my skin. Um, I'm just glad to have used it up because I didn't, I don't know, it didn't really do anything for me. And last skincare item I have is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. Um, I struggle with um, getting milia on my eyes with certain eye creams and this um, did give me that as well. So I probably will not get this again. Um, 
I use the Mary Kay under eye cream. I can't remember what it's called, but that's the only one that I found that doesn't give me Milia bumps. And then I have some makeup products. I'm really proud. I didn't think that I would actually get through makeup this month, but I did. So this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I've had this for a few years and I really focused on using it up in the last couple of months. And I'm really glad that I finished it off. It's very old, but it was a really, really good primer. I probably won't purchase it again just because it's very expensive. If I find it on sale, maybe I will, but I do like luminizing primers and um, this one definitely did that, so I really, really enjoyed it. The next thing I have is the Stila Shimmer and Glow in Kitten. And this one, it actually dried out. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it dried out on me. And so I just kind of like tried to use it as much as I could. And I'm just gonna say that this one is finished. And then I have three chapsticks. Crazy. I've been going through chapstick like water recently. I think the mask wearing has made my lips get more chapped more often. Um, so I've been going through chapstick like crazy. I have the Burt's Bees Mint Cocoa. I've been trying to use this up for a few years. I don't like the smell of it because it's like chocolate. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm just glad I have finished this. I don't think I like chocolate uh, lip balms. So that was not good. And then I have the Eczema Honey Nourishing Lip Balm. This one was weird because it's kind of chunky, um, which I didn't think anything of because it's a natural lip balm. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's like little bumps in it. I don't know. I didn't really like I wasn't very mad at it because I also got it for free with a purchase. Um, but it was nice. I definitely won't repurchase it though because that, that texture really weirded me out. And then the last thing I have is the Hemp's uh, Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm. This one tasted like pineapple. Um, I didn't like the taste of it or the smell of it, but this formula was really amazing and now I'm missing it because I've noticed my other chapsticks just don't compare or my other liquid lip balms like this don't compare to this. This is like a very, very good formula. If they have it in like a different um, flavor, then maybe I'll consider repurchasing it. I just really did not like this. It was too like tropical for me. I don't know. It, and it was very fragranced. If they had one that was that is like no fragrance or mint maybe, um, then I might consider repurchasing it. But yeah, that is all of my empties. It was quite a lot this month. I think I did really well. I finished off makeup. I finished off some skincare that was really old and I'm just glad to have it out of my collection. And hopefully now I'll know better than to hoard things and um, to use things up within the time that I've bought them. So anyways, that is everything for my empties video. If you liked it, uh, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.